Hi, I'm Brian from Honest Mechanic. Today we're going to talk about alternator failures. Imagine driving your car one day and suddenly the lights begin to dim, the stereo stops working, and the engine turns off. You've just fallen victim to an alternator failure. These failures can disrupt your journey and leave you stranded, emphasizing the importance of what's under the hood. Alternators, the powerhouses of your vehicle, can fail due to a variety of reasons. Grasping these causes can help prevent unexpected breakdowns and keep your car running smoothly. So, what are these causes? The first culprit is often a worn-out or broken belt. You see, the alternator relies on a belt connected to the engine. Over time, this belt can become worn, cracked, or even frayed. Sometimes it might even snap. If that happens, the belt can't spin the alternator. Halting the production of electricity. That's why it's so important to regularly inspect the belt for signs of wear and to ensure it's properly tensioned. So, a well-maintained belt can keep your alternator spinning and your car running smoothly. Next on our list is electrical overloads. These occur when the alternator is exposed to stress beyond its designed capacity. Think of it like a marathon runner forced to sprint repeatedly. Eventually, they're going to burn out. The same happens with your alternator when you overload it with tasks like frequent jump starts or excessive aftermarket accessories. This stress can cause overheating and lead to the failure of essential components like the voltage regulator, diodes, and windings. Therefore, it's crucial to avoid overloading your vehicle's electrical system to maintain the health of your alternator. Just like us, alternators too can succumb to age and wear and tear. Over time, the alternator's internal components, like bearings, brushes, and the rotor and stator windings naturally wear down. This wear and tear reduce their efficiency, hampering the alternator's ability to generate electricity. Age-related deterioration can present as weaker performance, intermittent charging issues, or even total failure. Driving conditions, climate, and frequency of use can all speed up this process. Remember, the older your alternator, the more attention it needs. Lastly, let's delve into the internal components of an alternator. Among these components are the brushes, which maintain electrical contact with the rotor inside the alternator. As time goes by, these brushes experience wear and tear due to friction and use. As the brushes wear out, the contact with the rotor becomes less reliable, leading to a drop in the efficiency of the alternator. This can result in insufficient or intermittent charging of the battery, causing electrical issues in the vehicle. The diode rectifier is another critical component inside the alternator. It's responsible for converting the alternating current produced by the alternator into direct current for the car's electrical system. If the diode rectifier fails, you'll experience a partial or complete loss of charging capability manifesting in battery drain, dimming lights, and erratic instrument panel readings. Bearings in the alternator also play a significant role, enabling the rotor to spin freely. Over time, these bearings can wear out or seize, leading to noticeable noise and inadequate power generation. As you see, a healthy alternator depends a lot on the condition of its internal components. So, there you have it, the major causes of alternator failures. From worn out or broken belts to electrical overloads, aging and wear and tear, and finally, internal component failures. It's a complex system with many parts working together and it's crucial to regularly inspect and maintain these components for optimal performance. Keep an eye out for the symptoms of failure and you'll be well on your way to preventing any unexpected breakdowns. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos like this one. Drive safe!